Okay, here we go. You screw off the top half, put it to the side. You take out the uh, sort of filter part. You're gonna fill that one up with coffee later. The bottom part you're gonna fill with water. About there, up to there. That much, underneath the uh, little nozzle thing right there. So you put in the filter. You fill that up with coffee. It can be regular ground coffee beans or this special espresso <clears throat> grind, whatever you call it. And what he always does is he takes the bottom of a glass and he sort of presses it down. I don't know if that's mandatory or just his thing. Screw the top part back on. Then you take the whole thing over to the stove. You put it on. Just a small flame. You let the, um, the water that's in there uh, heat up until it boils. It will go through that filter part and it comes out the top. And um, don't let it go for too long because the coffee will burn. And um, just wait for that thing to fill up and then you have a very nice cup of coffee. There we go. This one is ultra strong. It is real espresso. So, cheers. Cheers. It's good? It's fine. Excellent. Good. Hello, everybody. I am back in my zone two, which is bedrooms and bathroom. I already did a couple of things of my list. I'm gonna show you the entire list now, and then I'm gonna show you the state of the bedroom. And um, yeah, come along. Okay, it's zone two for me. I'm not in sync with uh, the fly lady. Uh, I don't do the um, first couple of days of the month. That is the first week, but it's not a whole week usually, and blah blah blah, I don't know. When you look into that, you'll understand. So I just take one week per zone, completely one week, Monday through Sunday. So I don't stick to month, I stick to weeks. Uh, it's just my take on things. Anyways, zone two, it's bedrooms and bathroom. It's the towels uh, that need to be changed out and washed. I think I need to do that more often, but you know, this is just a start. Uh, bedding needs to be done, the sink area needs to be cleaned, bathroom floor needs to be cleaned, doors and the windows need to be cleaned, and shower area, uh, the floors of the bedrooms, there's two bedrooms here on this, on this floor, um, dusting the bedrooms, uh, the plinths, you know, uh, those ones uh, on the bottom, they need to be dusted and cleaned. The toilet needs to be deep cleaned and uh, the spider webs. What's in English? Cobwebs, I believe. It's called. So, yesterday, today's Wednesday, by the way. Yesterday evening, I took about 30 minutes to take off the towels. They are in there in the laundry basket. I want to throw them in the washer uh, in a minute. I did the bedding, the sheets and stuff is also in there with a couple of clothes, but anyways, doesn't matter. What else did I do? I deep cleaned the toilet, which means disinfecting and completely wiping down because I do the swish thing every single day, pretty much every day, and um, stays relatively clean. So even the deep cleaning, it's not that much to do. It's mostly a little bit of dust, you know, and, and it's not even that dirty anymore, so. Great, and the spider webs, the cobwebs, along the edges, you know, everywhere. This is the uh, handy dandy little thing that I use to go up there, because this is about three meters high in, 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 in feet, foot, uh, that's about ten feet high. So I need a stepping thing to get up there with my regular cobweb 
cleaner, you know, the stick thing. But this one, wait, <laughs> I need to do this one-handed. This one extends out like a, like an antenna thing. If you remember, you know, those old little radios. You just completely like that. And I can, if I stretch out a little, I can reach that. So this is what I use. And when I'm done, I can just um, like pull that back in and store it away. And this one was like, probably 50 cents or something from the uh, cheap store and uh, my cleaning supplies go as you can see in here like you saw probably maybe in my previous videos I always had clothes over the doors and stuff and even on the floor and where not um, not anymore I every night before bed I take off my clothes they go either in the closet or in the uh, laundry basket so that is clean my boyfriend does this is his side he does forget to always close the door so I don't mind by the way and we had a birthday today and what we always do is we bring um, cake and presents and balloons up for the birthday boy in this case my my uh, boyfriend it's his birthday today, so um, that's why there are balloons and uh, some party stuff on the floor here. Other than that, laundry is in the basket. There's nothing on the floor. Laundry-wise, nothing on the floor. And the beds are sort of made. Yeah, I didn't do too thorough of a job. This is how I make the bed now, so it can air out. My um, robe is still there and the fly lady says one load of laundry a day to tell you the truth this and this I think there's nothing nasty in there for you to see this is all the laundry I have in about a week and a half so I don't and this is two right this one will fit in the uh, washing machine it's one load this is not even one load the only thing extra is the towels and sheets and the clothes I wore yesterday I dumped in there as well so this is all that I have in a week and a half pretty much so a load of laundry a day I don't even get to that so I I just don't do that so today I'm gonna today and tomorrow wash these maybe my son has some stuff upstairs I know there's not a lot there so that's it three loads of laundry week and a half yeah we're frugal like that. <laughs> so I'm looking at the clock right now. I've got about 30 minutes before I need to be somewhere. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to clean the doors and the windows. That is also, you know, the, uh, the uh, ledge right there and in the bathroom and in the small bedroom that is just around the corner from the big bedroom it's this one the tiny one guest bedroom and stuff so um yeah that's what i'm gonna do and i i, I cut that out <laughs> or not <laughs> uh and i think i'm gonna do the sink area today yeah see what i can cram into 30 minutes go as fast as you go don't try to be perfect just do it okay here we go
I am in my all clean kitchen. Saying goodbye for this uh, zone cleaning video. I hope you enjoyed and moon glow. I hope you found the coffee making instruction helpful and that it will uh, help you in your decision making process of what kind of coffee machine uh, you need to get. So you will all see me again in my next video. Bye!